whatsoever you do this month, whatsoever you do this quarter, whatsoever you do this year, strive to drink the more. Through the word of God, yeah. you can win a state victor mm-hmm. on daily basis. Overcome mm-hmm. this challenge, this trouble, and see be who God wants us to be. You can go far in life with the troubles, with the challenges, with adversity. God has never created any man without a purpose or not. Hi, my name is Corey Bello. You can also call me k Welcome to Mindset. Today on Mindset, I would like us to start by reading the Word of God. In the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 8, the Bible says, But what does it say? The Word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Today, we will be discussing about the topic, mindset of being positive. A lot of people, the reason why we are passing through what we are passing through right now is because of those things that we have spoken into our life, knowingly or unknowingly, in the past. A lot of people have surrounded ourselves with negativity in our, in our words. Sometimes we tell ourselves that we can't do that thing. And because we have spoken that thing to ourselves that we can't do that thing, our spirit believes it. So we won't be able to do that thing because we don't believe it in the first place. And we have spoken negative, negativity in our, into our, ourselves. The Word of God says, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Instead of speaking negative, negativity into ourselves, it is high time that we need to begin to speak positive things into ourselves. Even if we don't think that we can, we still need to charge ourselves to believe that we can. But it doesn't mean that we should not be sincere with ourselves. If we need to work on ourselves to get better, let us do it. If we need to invest our time, our finance, if we need to invest into friendship or people that will make us to achieve that our goal or that our dream, we should go ahead and do that instead of speaking negativity into our spirit being. God has never created us to be limited. Everything that we needed, he has made provision for. The word of God says that I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. That is your portion. You are not meant to beg. You are not meant to become a beggar. But God still wants us to believe in ourselves. He is ready to do his own part if we will do our part. And that our part is to believe in his word. And speak, speak his word into our spirit being. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you have been through. But today, I speak to your life. That mountain is removed in the name of Jesus. I speak to you today that limitation is broken go in this dynamite and begin to fulfill your god's given purpose and begin to manifest that greatness that god has unlocked inside of you this is where we'll be ending today uh, broadcast remember your light has been made and it is your responsibility to shine thank you for hanging around with me my name is Corey De Bello. You can call me Cable. See you next week and God bless you.
whatsoever you do this month, whatsoever you do this quarter, whatsoever you do this year, strive to do the more. Through the word of God, yeah. you can win as a victor on a daily basis. Overcome with challenges, with struggles, and still be who God wants us to be. You can go far in life with the troubles, with the challenges, with adversity. God has never created any man.